this KKK member was sentenced to life in prison. But you won't believe why. Welcome back, Charlie here. The Ku Klux Klan, or KKK, was founded as a hate group in the USA. The group was most active in the 1920s. But you may be surprised to learn there are still thousands of members of this evil group. Today we'll look at times KKK members were sentenced to life behind bars, and their wild reactions in the courtroom. First we have to look at Edgar Ray Killen. Edgar Ray Killen was a prominent KKK member. In 1964, he planned the murder of three people. Andrew Goodman, Michael Schwerner, and James Cheney had their lives ended. The three victims were civil rights activists. They were participating in the Freedom Summer of 1964. This was a big civil rights protest in Mississippi. The three men had just visited the victims of the burning of a black church. But that's when a KKK member who worked for the police arrested the men. The police said they were speeding, but there was no proof. After the men were released from jail, their car was tailed by the KKK. The KKK then forced their car off the road, and then shot the three activists inside, sadly ending their lives. The men were found 44 days later buried in a dam. Shockingly at the time, the state of Mississippi refused to prosecute any of the men responsible. But in 1967, 18 men were arrested for the incident. This included the KKK leader Sam Bowers, as well as the sheriff and also Edgar Ray Killen. Most of the men involved were sent to prison, except Edgar Ray Killen. He somehow got away with the crime, or so he thought. But many years later, a reporter named Jerry Mitchell was investigating the incident. He found new witnesses, and found new evidence that Edgar Ray Killen was involved, including the fact that he planned these killings. In 2005, at age 80, Killen was arrested once again. The case went to court. He was found guilty for the crimes and was sentenced to 60 years in prison. Given that he was 80 at the time, this of course meant a life sentence. Edgar Ray Killen passed away in 2018 while behind bars. It's a shame justice was only served 40 years after the crime. But although late, at least justice was served. Next, we have to look at Sean Berry, Lawrence Brewer, and John King. In 1998, these three men ended the life of James Bird Jr. This took place in Jasper, Texas. The three men offered to give James a ride. But instead of taking James home, the men took him to a remote road. Road. They then assaulted James, and dragged him behind a Ford pickup truck for three miles. Sadly, James would later pass away from the injuries. The men then left James's body in front of a black church. James was found the next morning. There was no surveillance cameras or any witnesses. So how were these evil men caught? Well, it was basically down to their own stupidity. Near the area where the killing took place, police found a wrench with the word Berry written on it, obviously belonging to Sean Berry. Police also found a lighter with the word possum on it. Possum was John King's prison nickname. Lawrence Brewer and John King were well-known white supremacists, making it very obvious this was a hate crime. King even had several very hateful tattoos on his body, including the logo of a hate group named the Confederate Knights of America. A judge found Sean, Lawrence, and John all guilty for James's murder. In 2011, Lawrence Brewer was executed by injection, and in 2019, John King King met the same fate. Sean Barry was sentenced to life in prison, but could be out as early as 2038. Next, let's look at Kayla Norton and Jose Torres. Kayla and Jose were both members of a hate group named Respect the Flag. They were sentenced for an evil attack on an eight-year-old boy's birthday party in Georgia. They said various racial obscenities. They also threatened to use firearms, and also waved Confederate flags, all while drinking heavily. This took place in July 2015, only one month after someone ended nine lives in a black church. Kayla and Jose also threatened various black drivers. A judge later declared respect the flag as a street gang. In the courtroom, Kayla Norton cried and apologized to the victims' families. I would never walk up to you and say those words to you. And I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Jose Torres was also seen crying. In the end, Jose Torres was sentenced to 13 years in prison. Kayla Norton was given six years in prison for her part. They were also both banned from entering Douglas County ever again. 
Next, we have to look at Jeremy Christian. In May 2017, Jeremy was on a train in Portland, Oregon. That's when he had a massive freakout. He started making very racial remarks and threatening many passengers on the train. Taliesin Namkari Mesh and Micah David Cole Fletcher stepped in. They told Jeremy to calm down and stop making hateful remarks. But that's when Jeremy pulled out a knife, stabbing both men along with another passenger named Ricky Best. Micah thankfully survived, but Taliesin and Ricky sadly both passed away. Jeremy Christian then ran away. He was soon arrested and went to trial. The surviving victim, Micah, said that he has nightmares every night, just proving the lasting effects of Jeremy's evil crimes. In the end, Jeremy was given two life sentences plus 51 years, with zero chance of parole, meaning this dangerous and hateful man will never be released from behind bars. That's probably a good thing, seeing as he had a major freakout in court. He began shouting at one of the victims, and even threatened to end her life, eventually having to be removed from the courtroom. Next, we have to look at Russell Courtier. This crime also took place in Portland, Oregon. One day, Russell Courtier was arguing with Larnell Bruce Jr. outside a 7-Eleven, but things escalated rapidly. Russell Courtier got into his Jeep and ran over Larnell Bruce Jr., sadly ending his life. But why would Russell Courtier Courtier do this? Well, it turns out he was part of a hateful prison gang named European Kindred. He had the group's logo on his hat as well as a tattoo on his leg. His hat was found at the crime scene and CCTV also caught the whole thing on camera. He was arrested and taken to court. His girlfriend, Colleen Hunt, was also arrested. That's because it was her car that he used and she was cheering him on inside of the car. Russell Courtier received life imprisonment. Next, we have to look at Charles Newcomb, David Moran, and Thomas Driver. These three KKK members plotted to take someone's life. The three men were Florida prison guards and had planned to end the life of someone who used to be an inmate at the prison where they worked. Thankfully, the plot was foiled by the FBI. They wanted to end the life of a man named Warren Williams. This was over a fight one of the men had with Warren. They planned to use insulin to take his life and then dump him in a lake to make it look like he drowned. The the FBI was able to save Warren Williams' life. They did this by infiltrating the KKK and finding out their plot to end Warren's life. The men are now in the same prison where they used to work. Only this time, they're not guards, but inmates. Finally, let's look at Harry Rogers. Harry Rogers was the president of the Virginia KKK. In 2021, he was sentenced to five years in prison. This was for driving his truck through a crowd of protesters. The protesters had gathered to protest the killing of George Floyd. That's when Harry Rogers drove his truck into many people. Thankfully, no one passed away, but there were various injuries. He pleaded guilty to three counts of assault, one count of destruction of property, and one count of hit and run. Footage later emerged of Harry at clan member meetings, showing that what he did was by no means a mistake. Although he was sentenced to five years, some said that wasn't enough. That's because if Harry was driving his truck any faster, people could have easily lost their lives. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these criminals was the most heinous. If you want to see my short videos, check out my second channel. I've been Charlie. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top Tens.